Hey, boys and girls. Let's explore measurement using inches with Mrs. Theophilus. many of you are asking yourselves, how do I measure objects using inches? Well, during today's lesson, we will be able to locate the inch side of the ruler. You will also investigate the measurement of objects using inches. Where can we find the inch side of a ruler? Well, the inch side is usually the side that has the numbers spaced further apart on the ruler, like the top part of this ruler seen on the slide provided. What is an inch? An inch is a smaller unit of measurement that makes up a foot. It can be used to measure pencils, crayons, and markers. Okay, boys and girls, let's practice measuring using the unit of inches. So if we look at this juicy roasted golden corn, we wanna know how long it is. Because if you're greedy like me, then you want the longest corn, right? Yes, you do. Okay, so now when we are measuring, you always start from the left hand side of the ruler at the end and you move your way over to the right hand side. So if we start at the left hand side of the inches here and we move all the way over, we pass one, two, three, four, five, six. So this corn would be six inches long. Let's take a quick look at this pencil. Let's find the length of this pencil using inches, okay? So we're gonna start from what side of the ruler? That's correct. We're starting from the left-hand side of the ruler. We're on zero. And then we move all the way over to the end of this object. So if we move all the way over, we end up at seven inches. So the length of this pencil is seven inches inches long. Excellent job, boys and girls. Okay, now, boys and girls, it's your time to practice measurement using inches. So it's time for you to get your paper and get your pencil. And you are going to practice measuring these pencils. Jot down your answers, and then we'll go over your answers. It's your time. Okay, boys and girls, and that is time up. Now let's see your answers. Check your answers. Let's look at the first pencil. If we move on the ruler from left to right, this pencil ends at four inches. And inches can also be represented by the abbreviation IN and a little dot. Okay, so this is four inches long. Let's look at the second pencil. Moving from left to right, this pencil stops at two inches. Okay, so we'll write two and we'll write the abbreviation for inches, which is IN, okay? And then let's look at our third pencil. We're moving from left to right and this pencil stops at one inch long. Now I hope that none of you take a one inch long pencil to your teacher's class. <laughs> You will not be able to finish the entire lesson with that short pencil. And let's look at the last final pencil. We move from left to right, and this pencil stops at the number six. 
So this pencil is six inches long. Very good. And I hope that all of you take a pencil that's approximately about six inches long to your teacher's class. Okay, very good boys and girls. And I hope that you got all four questions correct.